Yöneticimiz Mimar Simone Sfriso, Tamaso Chiati kurucu orta. Simone, sürdürülebilir mimarlık, kentsel tasarım, peyzaj, peyzaj tasarımı, katılımcı mimarlık, grafik tasarımı ve sosyal iletişim tasarımı konularıyla ilgilenerek kamu kuruluşları, sivil toplum örgütleri, kar amacı gütmeyen kuruluşlar ve özel iştirakler için etik ve sorumluluk sahibi projeler planlama prensibiyle çalışmalarını sürdüren Tamaso Çiyati'nin kurucu ortağı olup konut konferansının bir diğer anahtar konuşmacısı kendisi. Şimdi davet edeceğim. Ee, 1966'da Londra'da doğdu. Ee, Venedik Üniversitesi'nden mezun oldu. Mimarlık ve Sosyal Tasarım Ofisi olan Tamaso Çiyati'nin kurucu ortaklarından birisi olarak ofiste çalışmalarını halen sürdürmekte. Sürdürülebilir mimarlık, kentsel tasarım, peyzaj tasarımı, katılımcı mimarlık, grafik tasarımı ve sosyal iletişim tasarımı konularıyla ilgilenerek kamu kuruluşları, sivil toplum örgütleri, kar amacı gütmeyen kuruluşlar ve özel iştirakler için etik ve sorumluluk sahibi projeler planlama prensibiyle çalışmalarını sürdüren Tamaso Çiyati'nin kurucu ortağı Simone Sprison'un her projede sürdürülebilir teknolojiler, katılımcı planlama ve yerel üretim teknikleri kullanarak ödüllü birçok projeye imza atmıştır. Sudan'da inşa edilen Salam Kalp Cerrahi Merkezi ile 2013 Ağan Mimarlık Ödülü'nün sahibi olmuştur. Şimdi kendisini kürsüye davet ediyorum. Simone, Flor izliyoruz. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm really glad to be here. And uh, thank you to Mr. Haluksur. And so, uh, before uh, starting, uh, uh, no, no, it's not the right, uh, it's not the right file. Um, no, no, it's not, it's not the right file. And uh, I have another presentation. Sorry. Just a moment, please. No, 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 it's not the right uh, PDF file. And now this is the text I have. A No, no. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, uh, before uh, talking uh, talking about uh, um, the panel we have prepared, uh, I would like to show you. Uh, um, I'm taking just two minutes of your time. I would like to show you um, a short video uh, that doesn't show a, a housing project. Uh, um, why are we doing this? Uh, the target of a project in our philosophy. Uh, is how to combine social issues, uh, uh, low-cost budget, uh, cost-effective, so and uh, high value. And uh, okay, can we start with uh, the, the video? of the Nile, some 20 kilometers from Khartoum, the Salam Center for Cardiac Surgery offers free of charge treatment to people with heart disease. We talked 
as ministers of health with our neighbors, we said let us actually make health as a bridge for peace between us. We get people from other countries and they get treatment here. We get others to be trained here. Uh, and this is in fact good idea of cooperation. Run by an Italian NGO called Emergency, the center was designed by Venetian architects Studio Tamasocati. Their main challenge was the intense heat. Temperatures in Sudan often climb above 50 degrees. To keep the hospital cool, the architects devised a double skin insulation system for both the walls and the roof. We had to make a shell that covers and protect the hospital and the inside life. We are on top of the operating theater rooms. Here you can see the double roofing. There is the metal sheet, insulation, gypsum board. So in this way we can saving a lot of energy also for all the area. Sustainability is a hallmark of the hospital's design. The air conditioners are powered by solar panels. And recycled materials are used throughout, most notably in the staff accommodation. After one year of living in Khartoum, we decide to move all the international staff here. We start to think where to put the compound and how to do it. It came out the idea of using the container we used to ship the equipment. Altogether, 95 20-foot containers were used for the housing units, with each unit made up of one and a half containers. The canteen was created out of seven 40-foot containers joined together. To keep them cool, the containers are clad in a double-layer insulation system similar to the one used for the main hospital building. Our approach when we design something or we build something is that, what do I really need? So simplicity stands as a way of designing. Okay, the Ral Pantaleo is one of my partners. And uh, why did we show Cardiac Surgery Center uh, in a housing uh, convention? Because we think that uh, there is no, definitely there is no approach between uh, um, a cooperation project, a social housing project, uh, uh, landscape, uh, public spaces project. Uh, I think the question is uh, how to approach the project. And so, as I, saw, as I said before, uh, we try to start from the social issues, uh, and uh, we always work with a low budget. Uh, and so, we think that the important thing is how to combine them and how to get high value in a project. We have worked in, uh, in uh, we are based in Italy, in, uh, in Venice. Uh, we have realized uh, uh, several projects in, um, in Africa uh, with uh, emergency NGO and also with other NGOs. And uh, we have worked in, uh, also in um, some Middle East countries such as Oman and uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. Well, um, we can start from here, from uh, the question that uh, was uh, reported in the Master Jury of uh, the Aga Khan Award 2013. The Cardiac Center is, uh, the, has won the, the uh, Aga Khan Award and also won uh, the Carrie Stone uh, Foundation Social Design uh, um, Price in, uh, in San Francisco just uh, last uh, last week, and so I think it's important to say how to combine functionality with design, utility, and beauty. Utility and beauty are not separated. Affordability can stay with excellence. It's not a, uh, the problem. It's not how many, uh, how how is how big, how huge is the budget you have, but how you start when you start a project. We try to start also always with participatory processes, and we, start, we try to uh, improve local skills. Uh, we study the characteristics of a place. Uh, in a world, uh, uh, for us, uh, um, the starting point is the genius logic of a project. And let's go 
to talk about housing and why we, sh we, we, we choose uh, these three uh, keywords that are uh, simple, affordable, and shared. A traditional form of social housing projects, uh, conceived as uh, huge dormitory quarters, uh, uh, do not address uh, the need of many people. Things that people once took granted, family, community, a sense of belonging, in human scale places, must be actively sought out, especially in the housing complexes. And I'm sorry, uh, I apologize for my English. Uh, so I, I hope you will understand me. I'm helping myself with this uh, written test. And, uh, okay. The lacking issue to be focused, uh, we think, uh, is the quality of human spaces uh, and the presence of services, shared spaces, uh, and public facilities, transport systems, and sustainable urban, urban mobility. At a glance, the question is the quality of life, we think. When we talk in these terms about quality of life, we are talking about how to place side by side quantity of dwellings, uh, of buildings, of neighborhoods, and quality of public spaces, facilities, uh, shared spaces. In fact, it isn't the city environment that people don't like. It is what, what most of the cities turned into, unsafe, unhealthy, and shared. The challenge, we think, now is represented by the realization of dense spaces where the density, and this is important, I think, is not measured only in terms of number of dwellings, but also in terms of possibility of interaction between inhabitants. So fu functionality and affordability, and here we find one of the, f the first of our uh, keywords uh, in housing projects, uh, is necessarily a predominant topic, especially in growing countries. However, we think that the anxiety of a, the research of high performance uh, solution in this field is reducing all the issues to a level of alternatives. This is the reason why we are showing the, this sequence of housing projects. I think they are not the best projects. Uh, uh, they are very, uh, but you can find in the history of architecture and contemporary architecture. They are very different uh, for age, size, and uh, location. We haven't chosen so the most important examples. But some projects where we recognize the research for balance between private and public spaces, between private dwellings and shared spaces. But we think there is more. Actu actually, when we talk about architecture, we must talk about sustainable sustainability. Massimo Cacciari, a famous Italian philosopher and the former mayor of Venice, says that architecture can only be sustainable, otherwise it's not architecture. And I think this is important and it's also definitive. We prefer to say that sustainability is not necessarily in contradiction with simplicity and then so cost effective. Now we're going to show you uh, three, three different uh, examples. Uh, uh, three projects we have uh, realized, the one in, uh, in Italy, in Bologna, and uh, it's a co-housing project, uh, and uh, as an example for the shared issue, a social housing program in uh, Iran, as an example for the affordable issue, and the container housing compound in Sudan as, a, as an example for a uh, simple issue. When we think is really interesting is not the scale but the way to approach the starting problems and a request, request with a sustainable solutions where sustainability in our vision essentially stands for simplicity. So rethinking the potentiality of simplicity in our vision is the future of sustainability. The first project is, uh, as I said, a co-housing project. What is co-housing in a very few words? Uh, the co-housing uh, um, buildings, the co-housing neighbors uh, combine uh, private housing with uh, 
uh, shared spaces. The shared spaces can be uh, of many kinds. There can be um, landries, uh, uh, public space, uh, shared spaces for parties, uh, um, space, sport facilities, uh, and they all run by the people, by the, the, the neighbors, by the co-houser that uh, live in, their, in those neighborhoods. This project uh, comes from, uh, uh, as a first test uh, from a general study on resilience uh, and sustainable neighborhood designed by us uh, for a new housing settlement in, uh, in, in Bologna, as I said. The first project is connected to a urban renewal program located nearby the city of Bologna and meant to provide a new urban housing solution to an, an existing uh, mid-70s neighborhood. The main projects were the low quality of uh, existing building, this uh, uh, social housing problem realized in the, in the 70s that has been uh, destroyed to make place to new uh, high quality sustainable uh, um, housing programs, both realized by local public uh, um, developers and, uh, uh, and private, uh, private group of uh, uh, co-housers. Okay, I can go run here fast. Okay, just down in the corner you see uh, uh, there is the, um, the project of the housing and uh, there is uh, also shown the, the, the public uh, park that has been realized uh, by the public authority um, while uh, realizing the new housing uh, uh, complexes. This project refers to all these aspects, and I'm talking about a demolition of program to support the design of new high energy saving buildings, the, new re new, the renewal of all infrastructures by using participatory process, so uh, working with not only with uh, the, um, the new neighbors, but also with uh, the existing neighbors in very big and sometimes complicated uh, participatory uh, um, uh, conventions and the opening of plots purchase to new subjects under specific conditions. This is the basement level. In red you see the shared spaces. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, the building uh, has uh, 12, uh, um, 12 apartments and uh, we have different uh, sizes, uh, 70 squ squ square meters, 90 square meters and 110 square meters. And I think the interesting thing is that they have decided to realize also 200 square meters of shared spaces. You see, uh, the red spaces, there is a common room, and uh, there is a common kitchen, um, there is a, a small guest house. In the underground level, there are also uh, rooms for uh, playing music, for, for parties. Uh, and uh, there is a landry. So uh, the, the, the idea is uh, how can I renounce, maybe I can have a house that is maybe a little bit smaller than what I can buy. I can renounce to having a, mm, the third room, the third bedroom, 10 square meters of bedroom, but I have 200 square meters of shared spaces. And the spaces are run by all the neighbors. Okay, I can go, can go fast here. Different typologies. We have realized a project with, uh, uh, with using uh, uh, wooden uh, prefab panels. And this choice was uh, uh, both because uh, we had to build uh, very fastly the, 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 um, the dwelling because uh, uh, the neighbors, uh, the, the, the clients, uh, the, the co-housers had to, to sell their apartments and move here. And so we have to realize it in a very, very short time. And also because uh, uh, they asked us to, to realize a uh, high quality, sustainable project. And so it's 100% uh, uh, wooden prefab uh, built. And uh, okay, I think another thing I want to show you is that uh, 
the starting point is that uh, all the apartments are uh, aware uh, the same, but uh, working with uh, the clients, all the, prob all the apartments became different. Uh, so it's not a serial building, uh, it's a sort of uh, um, sum of uh, uh, singular houses in a wall uh, common complex. Okay, I can go fast here. Okay, this is uh, an image of a facade looking at the south side on the, uh, it has a very nice uh, view to the uh, Bolognese uh, hills. I, um, okay, uh, this project has, uh, has Wrote, uh, has the um, A class uh, uh, energy saving uh, um, and also is um, a lead uh, Italian association uh, uh, case study now. And this is a view on the north side, it's more closed. Okay, so we are uh, now building it, the prefab uh, wooden panels. Uh, it's very fast, uh, every, every story is realized in uh, about one week or so. In less than four weeks, we're gonna build all the, uh, all the, all the building. Before starting the, the project, there has been many, many <laughs> hard, uh, discussions with uh, the, the co-housers co -co uh, and so I think it's a, a, a real good example of participatory project uh, in uh, housing, uh, in social housing. The second project is very, very different. It's a social housing project in, uh, in Iran. In this case, the, we, we were called to work in uh, Yazd. Yazd is a 500,000 inhabitants uh, uh, city situated in, in the middle north of uh, Iran. It is uh, an horizontal city collocated in a high seismic risk area. The population growth and the resulting large growing city phenomenon has caused a growing of demand for social housing interventions as in other parts of the developing world as well. In fact, a large part of the population, especially the youngers, has difficult access to proper housing. So the client, the client was a private develop, developer in agreement with a local authority who, which provides land provision, as you see there, and financing since 70% of cost of realization of prefabricated construction system factories to be realized on site. So the project was both to improve housing and improve local construction industry. So the targets were using a prefab modular system to be tested for the realization on 1,500 one-story houses. We could not work on the, uh, on the, um, on the design of the, the, the plot, uh, but only on the design of the, the, the modular system of the housing. That's why when you see the, 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 uh, the urban uh, design, uh, I think you're going to say uh, it's, it's an awful urban design. But I think also in this case, uh, what is interesting is the process. So the targets of a modular, uh, prefab modular system where it must be realized with use of fast prefab construction system, have surface of 70 square meters, but also be simply expandable with prefab or with self-construction uh, forms. Have a maximum cost, uh, and here was the, 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 the real problem, a maximum cost of 25 US dollars each, each house. With, but with an of alternative upgrade quality proposal with maximum cost of uh, 40,000 US dollars. So with the starting conditions, uh, we have developed two feasibility projects. The first one I'm showing you, 
a simple affordable basis project and the second one a sustainable quality upgrade project. So considering the very low budget available and the specific economic conditions, the preliminary identified construction system was a precast reinforced concrete structural system. So features of a prefabricated concrete panel si building systems are known. The construction of prefabricated reinforced concrete panels combines the advantage of concrete construction to those of industrial production and product standardization. So constructive advantages, use of uh, expensive materials and uh, easy supply of on-site on available materials, materials and seek subsequent independence of important necessities. High seismic structural performance, good acoustic and thermal insulation performance, type flexibility and fast building project. But this, uh, <laughs> this precast uh, concrete building system has therefore many constructive, economical and organizational advantages. But unfortunately, it is not a sustainable system. So our attempt, uh, and this is our, was our strategy, was to dress uh, the hard and rough houses with a light and gentle low-cost skin. So we proposed a bamboo breeze soleil panel system that contains porch spaces, uh, external stairway light spaces on the roof garden. Then we proposed a simple solution to a difficult problem. We also study the same project to be realized using the more sustainable lacquer block system. In fact, the light expanded clay aggregate is also avoidable in Iran, all through at higher cost than the prefab concrete. So the black, with the lacquer block construction process, we estimated a cost of about 40,000 US dollars and we tried to also to uh, work with a traditional system of uh, wind catching towers of uh, the bad gears. The third project, uh, you saw it before uh, when you saw the video about the Salam Cardiac Surgery Center. It's a container housing compound for the Salam Center. This project is part of a, of a cardiac center that we have realized in 2005-2010 in Khartoum, Sudan. Okay, it's uh, only a few words about the, 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 the context and the, and the building site. First of all, I, I, I'm going to talk to you about the, 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 um, the center. It's a cardiac surgery center to offer highly specialized assistance to patients affected by cardiological pathologies. As a sole building, but it is not considered as a sole building, but a, as a system of buildings and correlated spaces. The hospital blocks, and this is a, a picture of the hospital, the main hospital, administration area, technical and service area, guest house for relatives of patients coming from outside Khartoum. A, med a meditation pavilion for patients for all creeds and religions, and a medical compound made of container houses. The compound was the last part of the project to be realized. The client asked us to realize a housing compound for the international staff working in the hospital and guests with a cafeteria, um, a refectory, shared space for relax and socialization. The program has to be, had to be realized by assembling, fast assembling system buildings and with a cost effective budget. And the project also had to be a model for the creation of reversible spaces for social gathering to be simply replicated in order to empower other existing structures run by, not only run by emergency, because emergency has many other hospitals um, in Africa, but also in uh, the northern or Iraq and in, uh, in uh, Afghanistan, but also in other contexts, just like, uh, just about, uh, just lo uh, like uh, housing contexts. So our, our approach of a problem, Okay, just you see the hospital block and down the medical compound. So we started, 
the, 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 the plot, the site was very, very interesting because it's uh, uh, based and situated in 200 meters from the, from the Blue Nile in a, a fantastic uh, um, mango, tree, uh, mango tree park. So, how we started? Looking at the amount of discarded containers laying around the building site of the Salam Center, we had this simple idea to use them again in order to realize the required international staff housing compound. The compound place, placed beside the hospital is realized around a great courtyard full of wonderful mango trees. It consists of 90, 20 feet containers for housing and 17, 40 feet containers for the shared common spaces. Every lodging is 20 square meters and is realized with one and a half containers. The lodging is composed of bedroom, bathroom, and a small veranda on the court side. Peculiar care has been dedicated to insulation and energy saving. The containers are insulated with a layer system. So inside the containers there are five centimeters of insulating panels have been placed and, out, and an outside skin is realized with a second insulated roof and a bamboo breeze rail panel system. In this way, the sun rays, sun rays never hit the containers. An innovative air conditioning system has been tested by using solar panels and chilling machines. The system involves a huge energy saving. Solar panels also supply hot water and to the entire compound. So some images of a courtyard. And so I think what is really interesting is also in this case are the the shared spaces, the common spaces. What we found when we started to work with uh, these fantastic uh, trees. This is a view of, uh, in, of one of the rooms. And this is the, 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 the cafeteria and the refectory looking to the Blue Nile. The plot land has been uh, given uh, free in charge from uh, the local authority to the, to the NGO. These are some views, internal views of uh, the cafeteria. Well, showing this last project, we want to conclude mentioning what Serge Chermayev and Christopher Alexander said in 1963. May the day is not far off when planners, designers, developers, promoters and, and other professionals recognize the mere fact that the place between buildings is just as important for the life of the urbanity as the buildings and that they act consequently. And uh, talking about this, uh, I think in a way we are talking about what uh, Aldo Cibic showed us uh, this morning uh, when he showed that the important, uh, importance is not the, maybe the building, but what stays side by side a building, what stays uh, in the public spaces, in the shared places, in the places for inhabitants. We think the, pla the space between, so we think, uh, are not only physical spaces, but also intangible ways to reach uh, inclusion, sharing, affordability. Thank you. Efendim, sorusu olan var mı acaba? Simone? I think there is no question, Simone. No, it's, the late time. It's late, we are all tired. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming Thank you. and for this nice presentation. <gülüyor> Değerli konuklar, hepinize bir kez daha teşekkür ediyorum. Hem kendi adıma hem Yapı Endüstri Merkezi adına. Gelen tweetleri ve mesajları görünce hakikaten çok etkilendim. Keşke bu konferans bir hafta sürsün diyenler var. Ee, anladığım kadarıyla çok faydalı oldu. Ee, diliyorum ki bundan sonraki yıllarda aynı hızla, tempoyla devam edecek. Ee, bugün birbirinden önemli konukları ağırladık. Özellikle öğleden sonra uluslararası 
e, misafirlerimiz, yurt dışından gelen tasarımcılarımızın yaptıkları sunumlar hepsi birbirinden güzeldi. E, önümüzdeki dönemde her şeyin merkezinde tabiata dost, tabiatla bütünleşik, insanı her şeyin merkezine gören, her şeyi insanın faydasına sunan bir tasarım ve e, konut politikası göreceğiz dünyanın her yerinde. E, çevre dostu olmayan, enerji ve suyu tasarruf etmeyen yapılar neredeyse hiç olmayacak. E, ve bütün bunların temelinde yalnızca ekonomik açıdan değil, ekolojik, sosyolojik açıdan, kültürel açıdan sürdürülebilir olmak bu işin olmazsa olmaz koşulu haline gelecek. Bütün izlediklerimizden, seyrettiklerimizden, e, gördüklerimizden anladığımız bu. Her şey insan için, her şey doğayla bütünleşik olmak için ve doğaya yakın olmak için ve hiçbir şekilde kentle, kent hayattan kopmayan, tam tersine kente entegre olan konutların, yapıların, e, projelerin e, daha çok devreye geleceğine şahit olacağız. E, biliyorum ki önümüzdeki günler e, çok daha güzel projeleri göreceğimiz, ülkemiz açısından da daha başarılı projeleri göreceğimiz zaman dilimi olur. Ben tekrar hepinize teşekkür ediyorum. Sözlerimi uzatmak istemiyorum. Günün sonu bu saate kadar sağ olun, var olun kaldınız. Saat 6'ya geldi neredeyse. Ee, ama konuklarımız hala burada sal salondalar. Belki onlarla konuşmak, tanışmak, kart alışverişinde bulunmak istersiniz. Bir çay kahve ikramımız var. Ee, bir 15-20 dakika, yarım saat daha buralarda olacaklar tahmin ediyorum. Ee, networking için iyi bir zaman. Ee, dilerim ki kendileriyle görüşürsünüz, konuşursunuz. Çok teşekkür ediyorum her şey için. Sağ olun, var olun.